Hello there, everybody. My name is Coach Shadongster Born, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from the Thought Park Resort. This is on an announcement that's linked to a 2020 um, possible new experience. Uh, it's a company that's worked with Thought Park before on Fright Nights, as well as other attractions that's involved in the project, and is set to announce something very exciting alongside the Thought Park Resort. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to see every YouTube video. Share with your friends family on the social media and now let's get into this theme park news room update so this is on aroma prime themed scents they're a company that do attraction scents and ride sensors uh, and smell pods uh, some of the sensors and um, aromas that they sort of invented for parks and attractions over the years wicker man at alton towers gangster granny the ride at alton towers um, thought park scare mazes such as containment platform 15 and creek freak massacre as well as the screenplex cinema and also they've worked with aromas in and around blackpool pleasure beach the set to work with thought park is something very very exciting but that's all we know at this stage this video is all about predicting and theorizing and giving my thoughts on what it could potentially be now my my theory and my big guess is uh, it'll First of all, it will link, in my opinion, to the initializing 2020 teaser. Uh, and I believe this is going to be a sci-fi themed sensory experience. Now, you look at Nina's Science Lab, which has now gone at Alton Towers from the CBeebies Land section of the park. I think this could be a sensory experience where you could be able to touch, hear, taste, smell and feel all the senses of a sci-fi base before going into a scare finale. So I think it's going to be a real experience, kind of like Jungle Escape, which is the escape room in the I'm a Celebrity site. Uh, I think this is a, a real experience, a walkthrough experience. Not really a dart ride, but a walkthrough experience. Now, there are a couple of buildings that I've sort of researched and found out where it could potentially go. Uh, but I want you guys to comment down below where you think a sensory experience could go in the park as well. Now, of course, one of the teasers recently from Thought Park said, uh, was a blurred out picture of a family behind set, uh, in front of Stealth. So maybe the attraction could go there um, in a potential building near Stealth. I don't think that's the case. I think that's just general teasing uh, by Thought Park. But two buildings that I came up with for potential sensory experience attraction invented in the building is Containment and The Walking Dead Living Nightmare. Like I say, if there's any more buildings that you could think of, please comment down below. Uh, obviously, they could do like they could construct a building in the Bountzilla site, but I think we would have seen planning applications by now. But if it's an already existing building, then you may not need to put in a planning application. I believe Nina Science Lab wasn't an existing it wasn't like an existing planning application separate from the actual area itself. So I don't think you really need to put in a planning application for this kind of sensory attraction. So I think that uh, it's an easy to fit attraction. I think if it is to be a sensory experience, I think we'll see it open in May around the same time that I think Jungle Escape will operate around May till August. I think the sensory experience will be a, a whole season thing maybe or maybe more than just one season if it is a sensory experience. But um, like I said, I think my idea is like a sci-fi base uh, with the touch, taste, smells, feels and hearings of a sci-fi base with a scare finale. So I think it's a real walk-through tour experience with some added scares in there as well uh, as a year-round experience. So let's go on about the two buildings and why I think they could be involved. So Containment is a scare attraction that opened at Fright Nights just a few years ago. And it's, if you want a bit of background information, basically you're working groups to tackle themed rooms which are based around your worst nightmares in order to complete the challenges in those rooms and move on to the next one. So Containment, in my opinion, is a good Fright Nights attraction. I've seen reviews of it, I've seen POVs of it. Uh, it looks a good attraction. I can't make judgment for sure because uh, I've not experienced it myself, but Containment looks like a good attraction. Now the reason I say that building is because they could potentially remove containment uh, and maybe with Jungle Escape being an escape room in the summer, maybe they're going to put like a, uh, maybe move containment somewhere else and maybe use that site as the site for the sensory attraction. However, that is not the most talked about building out of the two that I think the sensory experience, in my opinion, will go if it is to be a sensory experience. The Walking Dead Living Nightmare. Now that building opened in 2017 as The Walking Dead Living Nightmare, but before that it was Cabin in the Woods, and before Cabin in the Woods came in, it was The Passing. Now Walking Dead Living Nightmare is a Walking Dead themed scare base at Fright Nights. They do the extreme version as well, which looks extreme. It does what it says on the tin. 
Um, and basically, why I think this building as well is because with it being around the back of The Walking Dead, the ride, and the pretend, and the speculation that The Walking Dead licensing could run out and Fort Park may not choose to renew it, I think the fa that Phase 1 of The Walking Dead removals will be living nightmare if it is not set to come back for the 2020 season. I think we could see a sensory experience if it is to be a sensory experience, um, which is my theory inside that building so and i think phase two will be a re-theme of the walking dead the ride back to x uh, now this is obviously a strong theory it's an interesting theory however uh it's definitely a plausible theory so you know i think overall i think both these buildings uh are potential for a brand new attraction um and I think that whatever building they decide to use, I think, in my opinion, it will be a sensory experience. But, again, we can't confirm that for sure. We don't know any details about this yet. It could be just different aromas around certain attractions. It could be like a general park thing that they do, uh, just to create more of an experience around the island like no other. So, it might not be an actual attraction, but I'm excited to see what they're going to announce. So... Thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Aroma Prime themed Sense and Thought Park Resort. I'll cover the announcement when it comes out. But for now, guys, keep on the coast live, and I'll see you guys in the next video up very, very soon. Take care. I'm Nelson. Awesome.